There are two common methods to build a page using Dividend Pro. You can load a complete page layout or you can choose between many individual sections that you can combine to build a page. Before we begin, our recommendation is to keep the Divi native caching disabled. And here's how you do it. Go to Divi and Team Options. Scroll down and make sure to disable Minify and Combine JavaScript files and also Minify and Combine CSS files. So keep these two options disabled. Also go to Builder, Advanced and make sure that this option, Static CSS File Generation is disabled as well. The reason for this is that when your website is being cached, when you make some updates to the page, you may not be able to see the updates at all. Your browser may be showing you uh, a cached old version of that page. For that reason, while you're developing your website, keep this option disabled and once you're completely done with building your website, you may enable these options back again. You can load complete page layouts in just a few clicks and build a great looking page in no time. Perfect if you need a page done quickly. To do this, go to Edit Page, make sure that Divi Page Builder is activated and then click Load Layout. Select Divi Dem Pro tab. Choose between many page designs that best suits your need. And also there are many different layout packs unique in design that you can choose a page layout from. Once you've found the page layout you like, click the Load button. Now let's update our page and let's preview. You can also easily customize the colors, fonts, content of course and more. But also you can start from scratch. Choose among hundreds of modules and combine them to build a perfect page. Click Add from Library. Select the Dividend Pro tab. Use filters to find the module you're looking for. For example, let's start with a header module. I'm going to toggle Divi modules and I'm, then I'm going to check full width header module. Now I'm going to save one of these modules to the library. I'm going to click the save button. Once you do that, you want to update the page. And now after you update the page, you're going to be able to load this module you previously saved to the library. Click add from library and this time select add from library. Click the module you just saved to the library and it is going to be loaded onto the page. Now let's update and quickly preview this. And there we go. Repeat the process for other modules. Once again go to add from library, select Dividend Pro tab, find the module you want to add to the page. For example, you can continue with a blog module. Once again click the save button, reload the page. Once again, click Add from Library, select Add from Library tab. Now select the other module you saved and let's update the page and preview once again. And now we have this blog module under the header module we added earlier. Continue adding modules until you have completed the whole page. And once again, it's really easy to customize the colors and the fonts. Perhaps you have chosen modules from different layout packs and they are inconsistent in terms of colors and fonts. All you have to do is to go to module settings and change uh, what you need to make the page look consistent. That's it, thanks for watching.